What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you email marketing for beginners. And this is the exact strategy I've used in my own personal business to make over $5,000 last month. And I'm gonna be showing you, you know, how to set up your list, how to set up sequences, automations, all of that stuff that you need to know. But before we do that, I wanna show you three steps. This fourth one is kinda, of, we'll get into it. But the three main steps you need to actually do email marketing the proper way that no one even talks about because literally all they teach you is like the the outside of it right they don't teach you like the nitty-gritty what you need because it's not sexy or whatever right but it's very simple to set up it's it really takes no time at all but you actually need it so if you're excited make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get into the video all right so like I said I'm gonna be showing you these three steps okay and it's let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it so step one is obviously getting an email software these are called email autoresponders I personally use ConvertKit it's the best one in my opinion but this can be you know kind of transferred to any email software autoresponder whatever you want to call it but again in this video I'm gonna be showing you what I use and in this example we're gonna be using ConvertKit and the free account works but the paid account is suggested okay so the first that's the first step all right and there's a link to convert kit down below it's my affiliate link i will get paid but again you can use whatever you want so step two this is what people don't talk about okay you need a domain email okay and that's basically like my domain is one of them is thomasgarrett's.com so my domain email is thomas at thomasgarrett's.com okay so that's the best one to get because you can use that for any domain okay i suggest keeping your business very simple but the easiest way to do this is just by okay if you don't have a domain already so if you don't have a domain the easiest way to do this is by using g suite which you can get a free trial right here and i'll show you how to sign up but if you already have a domain and you don't have a domain email check and see if your hosting provider gives it to you for free. Like I have Bluehost for my hosting on my main website and they give you a domain email for free, up to five of them. And G Suite only gives you one, but that's all you need. So that's my suggestion is G Suite and it's very simple because you can use it through Gmail as well. So it's it's very simple. And that what that does is that allows you to send and receive emails, okay? And the reason why you need this is because if you're sending bulk emails through a Gmail email, they're gonna get blocked, they're gonna go to the spam folder and it's not gonna work, okay? So you need this. And I'm not saying this lightly, like you, you do need this. Like if you're serious about your business, this is not a big deal, okay? I'm so tired of people saying like, oh, I, I have no money. It's like, well, maybe you should get a job. <laughs> right like to start an online business you're gonna have to pay and I I suggest keeping your costs down low but if you can't afford I don't know maybe like 70 or 80 dollars a month for your online business at the start and you can't afford losing that for a few months and not making any money at all this is not for you and that's just me being honest it took me six months to make my first dollar online but I just want to be real about stuff. I'm tired of people telling you that you're going to make money right away. This is so easy. It's not. It takes time. It takes money sometimes too. So anyways, I'm just going to stop ranting about it. But please understand that because I get so many messages about it. And I just want to show you the right way to do it. Okay. So for example, if you don't have a domain already, you're just going to click this link. It'll be in the description. But it's go.thomasgarrett's.com slash G Suite. And you're going to go here. You're going to hit the basic one. Okay, and then you're gonna type in your business name. That could be whatever, it could be your name. Okay, so we'll just do test and then do just you and then hit next. And then you'll type in your contact info, your first name, last name, and then your Gmail account and then hit next. Okay, and then does your business have a domain? You wanna hit no, I need one. Okay, and then you'll search for domains. So whatever, we'll just type in a random one. You wanna go with one that's cheaper, you know, so whatever, we'll do this one. And the reason why some are more expensive is because it's like uh, like a shorter domain. Like nowadays, like one word domains are super hard to find and a lot of the times they'll be more expensive. But so you'll type that in, you'll go next, you'll type in your information. It's, I'm not gonna show you how to do this entire thing because it's very, very simple, 
all right if you have trouble with it just let me know I'll, I'll help you out but that's what you need to do okay I don't want to make this video about a G Suite but make sure you do that I just wanted to show you the first part okay so then after you choose your domain you'll have a domain email and then also in ConvertKit this is a law okay you have to have an address at the bottom of all of your emails okay so what you want to do is either use your own use a PO box or luckily for you if you choose ConvertKit they give a free address that you can use in all of your emails so it's very simple all right so now that we got that out the way I just wanted to show you like you need to do that stuff if you're gonna set up email marketing I've had so many messages lately so that's what you got to do so now I'm gonna show you how to actually use ConvertKit all right so again this can be transferred over from any email autoresponder they're all basically the same it starts like this you have to make a form or a list some emails call it and for ConvertKit, what's really nice is you can create landing pages. So what's really nice is you don't need to have like a, uh, a website builder. You can just use ConvertKit. And that's what I'm talking about, keeping your cost down low. It's very, very important. And the nice thing about this, here I'll show you. So you can go into your account settings and you can add like custom domains. And that's where you would add the custom domain you get so you can use it for your landing page and you can keep your costs really low because ConvertKit's only $30 a month compared to some of these website builders are $100 a month. So that's what I'm talking about. And then for email right here, this is where you add your email. You see, I signed up with my Gmail and then I added in my domain email, thomas at thomasgarrets.com. And that's my default one. So that's what all my emails sent from. And you can see right here, even though I have my Gmail still here, it's saying you're using a free email address. This can negatively impact your deliverability. Okay, so they even tell you don't use a Gmail. So obviously I'm not actually using it, it's just there. And then right here is where you wanna enter in your address. And I'll show you at the end how to get the free address from ConvertKit so you can use that one, all right? So that's basically the back end, and that's what you need to know. So just remember those first three steps, that's where you'll enter it all into here after you've signed up, all right? So remember, you have to do those first. Don't skip through that, it's very important. All right, so now we'll get into how to actually use email marketing. So again, we start off with landing pages, all right? And this is if you don't have a landing page builder. Again, very powerful. So what we'll do is we'll hit create new right here, and then we're gonna create a landing page, all right? So I've showed how to do this in other videos, but I'll show you again really quick just so you can see. So we'll choose this one. I think it's the cleanest and also I forgot to mention, but if you sign up through my link, I'll have a free, like what you can do on ConvertKit is you can share it, okay? So I could share this with you and along with all my automation, all the emails, everything, you can get it uploaded into your ConvertKit account instantly. So you don't have to actually do this. And that way, if you're promoting the same product that I promote, the first link in the description, you don't have to do much work. You just have to sign up for those first three steps and you'll be good to go. But I do wanna show you how to actually build it so you can see like how it works, okay? So how you actually edit it, it's very simple. So you can just do like um, how to make money online and do something like without any tech skills required so that's just a simple headline it's not what i would use but then you can change the color right here and then you can change the font size right here right change the color bold it right there or control b so it's very simple right so this is an actual landing page and you can hook up your domain to it so it's super powerful and so many people just try and sell you on their page builders so they can make more money but i really want you to succeed online and you don't need all the fancy stuff you want to keep this stuff as simple as possible okay so again if you're promoting the product i have you don't even even need to know how to do this but for everyone else who's not promoting the product i use it's very simple okay and if you have any questions please comment down below i'm happy to help but anyway, so we're gonna save this. Actually, we should change the name so we know which one it is. So I'm gonna call this test YouTube. And then I always um, put at the end what it is. So we could call it a form or a landing page, just so we know. And don't forget to do this. If we go right here, take off send incentive email. That's like when you get those emails, confirm your email or whatever. You don't want that, 
okay and also if you're promoting an affiliate product what you want to do is you want to take off show a success message and you want to redirect to an external page you would just put your affiliate link here so affiliate link here and then what happens is after someone enters in their email they're instead of getting a success message that says thank you for subscribing they're going to get sent to the affiliate product and then if they purchase you're going to get a commission for that all right so that's the main part all right so now we'll save this and this is our landing page okay the next thing you want to do is you want to create an automation technically you want to create a sequence like an email sequence first but i'm going to show you something really cool we're going to create an automation we're gonna call this test YouTube automation. All right, so create automation. Now, the first step, and again, this is kind of the same with every email software, but it won't be exactly the same. If you're using ConvertKit though, it's gonna be very simple following along. But what we'll do is we'll put in our test YouTube landing page. So that's the first step of this automation. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is everyone who joins this landing page is gonna get an email sequence okay so since we don't have one we can create a sequence all right so what we'll do is we'll just type one in test YouTube sequence so then we'll hit create sequence and then add action so then however you're promoting it you'll give them the link to your landing page your custom link your custom domain or if you're using a tracking link which whatever not a big deal you'll they'll go to this landing page right and then whenever they enter in their email they'll automatically start getting the sequence emails so then you go here and you can start writing stuff right so they kind of give you like a layout of how to do it but again if you sign up through my affiliate links i'll give you pre-written emails that you can use or you can edit however you want but another good way to get really powerful emails is to subscribe to people in your niches email list and see what they're writing and just model after them so just rewrite it in your own words it's very simple but basically like the layout of an email it's the subject line which is the main thing they see which you want to focus on it's like your your thumbnail your thumbnail for youtube it's like so important right so it's very very important that you use a good subject line and then you just write out an email and you always want to have a call to action which is your link so for whatever affiliate product or whatever program you're promoting you want to send them to that link and there is two ways to do it you can just post your link right here so we could just put your link which is affiliate link.com or what you can do is you could do something like click here to get instant access and I always bold it because it looks better and then you just hit the link button insert link and then boom if people click it they go to your product so that's really how you set up email marketing in your business and real quick you want to actually put it to active again this is if you're using ConvertKit this is so simple to follow along if you're using a different email autoresponder I can't say exactly how it works my suggestion use ConvertKit it's very simple but you can just click add email add email and just keep writing them and of course you have the emails you get from me if you sign up through me which I'm happy to give you I have tons of email swipes for you and also the product I'm promoting that has been making me thousand dollar commissions which is the first link in the description is the number one way to get started and I have emails for all that too so yeah that's that's basically how you do it and a lot of ways people talk about doing it is having a lead magnet as your opt-in page so like for example if we go to go.thomasgarrett's.com slash guide this is my lead magnet right so i i do it two different ways i basically have two funnels i have the one for my affiliate product and then i have the one for my lead magnet a lot of people do it both ways and really you just want to provide something with value so they enter the email like this is the one for the first link in the description so it's like new training reveals so the training is basically the lead magnet and then this is a little more advanced but what i do on my funnels which you can't really do on convertkit you'd have to use like a free landing page software to add this in but this is what's called a bridge page so how i showed you in convertkit was to link directly to the affiliate link after they enter in their email which is truly what i suggest when you're just starting out but once you get a little more you know used to doing this stuff you want to add a bridge page so what i do on the bridge page is it just gets more trust 
they enter in their email, then they're directly seeing you, right? And this is where you introduce your affiliate product, or you could just add in bonuses and kind of talk to them about it before they go to it. You know, so that way they're more likely to open the emails they're gonna get from you, etc. So I do that for both. This is for the first link in the description. This is for the, the guide I use. And yeah, so that's really just the ways to do affiliate marketing. And again, you can keep it very simple with ConvertKit the way I showed you. And yeah, so that's how you do it. And I said I would give you the address that you can put at the bottom, but I don't wanna just put it out there so people can see it who didn't sign up because this is for ConvertKit users only. So if you do sign up through my ConvertKit link, let me know and I can confirm you signed up and then I can give you the link to use that address, okay? So again, if you have any questions, I know I probably missed something, but this is in most basic terms, really how you do everything and to actually make it work. Nothing was really left out. Like you gotta get your domain, you gotta get your domain email, everything, right? So definitely just follow along. And if I missed anything, I apologize. Let me know down below in the comments and I'm happy to help. So really, that's all I got. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Just remember to go to that first link in the description, get started with my number one recommendation and hit that like button, destroy the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that's all I got. See you on the next video.